Rodrigo, firstly, just want to touch on your first Premier League goal. How was it to score that first Premier League goal? Oof, the, the feeling was unbelievable. I'm very happy to score my, my first Premier League goal and I hope the first of many. We saw you getting very emotional. You, it looked like you were crying. Was it just kind of all, uh, all emotions came up? Yes, I think no because the, the first goal in Premier League. I think the, because happened too many too many things before the school and I work every day hard. Sometimes it's difficult, but after the goal, I feeling phew, like free, you know? Like a weight off your shoulders kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, yeah. Was it nice to have the support of all the players and the manager? It seemed like everyone was so happy for you that you scored. Yes. My teammates helped me a lot every day. Sometimes I... I speak with the Brazilians, it's easy for me because the Portuguese, but now my English is very good. And I think everybody feels happy because they go. How have you enjoyed it this season? As you said, we've not really spoke to you because your English is, is improved now, but we can speak to you now. Um, how have you found this season? You've obviously had a bit of an injury, but you've scored a few goals and are you enjoying your football right now? Yes. This season, I think... He the the first six months was my my best season here with my with with my teammates and outside the pit and inside the pit because inside I feel more more how do you say more confidence you know and I think the Brazilians helped me a lot as well for for be this this confidence. Obviously, yeah, like as you mentioned, I suppose you are very happy. You've got a lot of Brazilians here with you. You've got William, you've got Andreas, you've got, you had Vinicius here, you've got Zhao. Is it nice to have those teammates around you as well? Yes, very good. Helped me a lot with my English and the football because William playing Champions League, World Cup, Andreas playing Manchester, Balin and national team, and more Spanish than me and help me outside the pit and inside the pit. Obviously, the game itself didn't end in the way we wanted, but having reflected now, is there positives you can take from it, the way we scored those two goals in that game? Yeah, I think I feel happy for for scored goal. But after the game, you know, I think we, we, we deserve more, you know, mm. from yeah. the game. Of course. Now we got the we obviously got the draw against Everton, draw against Burnley. I suppose on Saturday we'll be looking to try and get one further and get three points. Yeah, I, we we worked this week very hard to to get the three points on Saturday. And, and obviously we played Bournemouth not that long ago on Boxing Day, and that was a tough game. Um, but I suppose we, are we kind of looking for revenge? Yeah, always when we play there is is difficult, but. At home is different because our firm helped us a lot. And have you, what well, have you seen much? Obviously, you've seen Bournemouth, but I mean, what do you make of them as a challenge as opponents? Uh, Bournemouth play well this season, well. really good team, and have good players. But let's see, we 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 need to win, and let's see. Just finally, obviously, we signed Armando Breuer on um, on deadline day. How is it? How is he settled in? And is it nice to have? I know it's a com competition, but is it healthy competition to have that as well? Yeah, of course. We, he he come to help the Fulham.